Hey, what's going on guys? It's Wide Gaming, back again with some more Generation Zero. How is everybody doing today? Hopefully you are all good and having a good week so far. Now, we've got some beautiful news, but before we get into it, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, I greatly appreciate it, and it helps us grow a whole bunch. We're aiming for 10,000 subscribers before Christmas. I'm hoping we can get there. Help us out. Also, tonight at 8.30pm GMT, we will be streaming Generation Zero over on the Twitch channel. The link to that is in the description. 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 So come and check it out. Now, the Resistance update has finally dropped on Xbox. And alongside that, something even better has happened. We've now got crossplay between Xbox and PC. We need to add PS4 to that, well, PlayStation to that list. Hopefully they do that. See what happens. So alongside the crossplay, We'll also be getting Xbox Series X and Series S will now have the capability to run at 60 FPS, which is cool. And Xbox and Windows 10 users now have access to an in-game voice chat. Now, this is brilliant. And it being on Game Pass as well, if you've not checked it out, just do it. Go on, you've got nothing to lose. If you're already paying for Game Pass, it's pretty much free. I don't even know what Game Pass is at the moment, but I think it's like... I think I was paying... What's I actually can't remember. My mind's gone blank. But yeah, um, Game Pass is a really neat feature anyway. Especially if you've got the PC version and the Xbox version. I haven't got either at the moment because a lot of the games that I play aren't actually on there. So I thought it was pointless. I did have it at one point when I first got the PC. But I um, I, I got rid of it in the end. Yeah, this it's, it's a really nice thing. And obviously, I'm hoping this will bring a lot of people into the Generation Zero community. Because the game needs it. The more people are playing it as well, the more updates we're going to get and the life of the game will continue, which is really what we want. Obviously, without any players, it's it's going to it's going to die pretty quickly. So hopefully it keeps up, keeps up. But we'll see. We'll see. Now, the patch notes are quite lengthy. There's mainly a lot of fixes, but they have a sort of letter as well. And we'll go over the letter today. If you want to check out the patch notes, it's in the description below. Um, the full patch notes and known issues are all down there. Now, Generation Zero has finally joined Xbox Game Pass. This also comes with both an additional platform on Windows 10 as well as crossplay between both Xbox and Windows 10. The Resistance update is finally landing in the world of Generation Zero on Xbox. This one has been big and a long time coming. Base building is finally here and it comes with some brand new features and challenges in Osterton. The best part about all of these Everything except the Serbian Weapons Pack is included in the base game for all Resistance Fighters to enjoy. To kick off your first defense mission, all you have to do is find your way to the northern part of the forest region and complete the Good News mission that triggers upon entering the area. Once completed, you'll have access to the command center. It's here you will stand your ground against the incoming machine horde. Once initiated, you'll need to get your gear up, build out and prepare for the up and coming fight. We will leave it to you and your fellow fighters to discover and explore what's at your disposal to defend your new home base. There will be new additions to your stationary arsenal as the year progresses. That's good. I like the fact that they're going to be adding new things. They said they were going to. Now we're on a priority. Hopefully they'll be uh, bringing that in. Solid structures will not be the only way to defend your newly found command center. Every successful resistance evolves along with its enemies, even with its support equipment. Experimental weapons have helped you get the upper hand, and experimental items could help you go on the offensive. With each successful defense of your base, you will find new consumable items to craft and explore. These range from alternative health packs all the way to new ammo types. Base building and new craftables are not the only additions in GZ this month, as we've made extensive revamps to the forest region, adding more fun things to do, explore, and environmental storytelling as well as updating the challenge trees to include a new one related to base building. Finally, the Soviet weapon pack is also coming as a paid promotion, a paid addition to the game. And with this one, you will find the Kentonok sniper rifle, the ATWA, the assault rifle, and the RLG rocket launcher. These all come with attachments, of course. Now, if you have bought this pack, all you need to go do is go to your plunderer and three star variants will be in there. But for now we're gonna leave that there come and join us tonight at 8 30 we'll be streaming some generation zero resistance i'm gonna say hi and now i've been wired and you've been awesome thanks for watching peace <laughs>